Alright, so we've been finding rules and we've used them, um, remembering we have to show substitution, and in the f this case we found our y. So the next one we're going to look for is, here I've got a different problem for each rule. So for rule 1, uh, for what pattern are 105 matchsticks needed? So reading that question carefully, the number 105 matchsticks, well that's going to be m is equal to 105. And for what pattern, that means that's what I'm looking for. And remember, m is our y in our calculator, and p is our x in our calculator. So here I'm looking for x instead. So the first thing I'm going to do is write out my rule to show the substitution I would use. So I don't know p in this case, but I do know m. So instead of writing m, I'm going to write 105 is equal to 2 p squared minus 3p plus 1 because I know what m is but I don't know what p is. So that's my first step showing the substitution. The next thing I'm going to do is if you want you can use your algebra and um, power through this by hand but a lot of you guys aren't doing that so we're going to go back into graph again and again we're going to use our g-solve um, and in this case we're not looking for y, but we're looking for x, so we're going to use x calc. So, exit back here. I've got the two rules already put in here. Remember that shortcut I showed you of I can put more than one rule in and just hit select there, and it will turn a rule on or off. If you see the box in front highlighted, then you know that the rule's turned on. I'll draw it. And here I see um, part of my quadratic. And my zoom window here is not very good. So if I go into G-Solve, arrow over, I'm looking for x, I'll use x-calc. My y value is 105. It's found it for me. I can actually see it. x is equal to 8. So my zoom was good enough here for that to work, but again, if it isn't the case, then it tells you an argument error. Just make sure you zoom out again and again. So here, x is equal to 8, so I'm going to say, in my case, p is equal to 8, and in, that, in this context is the 8th pattern. So eight pattern the, on the 8th pattern, I'll need 105 matchsticks. And I do want to remind you guys of something with the quadratics in particular, so I'm going to exit, oh, draw, and just walk this over so we can see everything a little bit better. So that's my parabola. If I go into G-Solve, arrow over, if I'm looking for an x-calc value, and I do something like y of 3, no, try 30, you'll notice here if I'm doing x-calc for a parabola, I might have two solutions. Here's one on this side of the parabola for a height of 30. It's in the negatives. but if I keep that height the same and you look over to the other side, there should be a second solution with the same height. So if you're finding heights or y's, um, sorry, x's, you want to make sure that you arrow over to see what the second solution is. So this is just an example here to remind you that in parabolas, if you're looking for an x, there's often two solutions that will have the same height. So you need to arrow with the big gray button back and forth between them to find both of the solutions especially in problems where maybe you need to find you know, something like a, a bar that could go between two sides of a parabola. You want to find out what those two values are. Right. So, just to summarize up again, let's finish it for the second pattern here. I have a pattern that I'm looking for, so P is equal to something I don't know. 50 matchsticks, that means M is equal to 50. So here I'm going to write 50 is equal to 3p plus 2. And again, you can put this into um, your calculator, like most of you will, or you can use algebra to solve for this. So if I exit, I'm going to turn off that rule, turn on the other one, draw them, g-solve, arrow over, and I'm looking for an x value because I'm looking for a p. My y is 50, hit enter, Oh, not found. 
Um, that shouldn't freak me out. I just need to exit. Draw it again and make sure that I'm zooming so that I can see it far enough. So if I zoom out, I might see it a little bit better. And one thing that I can do here is just check that my window is another option. I know my Y value here has to be 50, so I need to make sure that my Y max is over 50. And if you want to, you can also change values here, like say, I don't care about the negative ones. I'm go up to 100 just to see what that looks like. And I don't care about the negative Ys, and I'll go up to 100 on the Xs. Draw it out. There's my linear equation again. Try a G solve one more time. Looking for X, my Y value is 50. Enter, and I can see it there. X is equal to 16. So in this case, P is equal to 16. That's the 16th pattern. So remember, when you're looking for x, you're going to use xcalc, and when you're looking for y, you're going to use ycalc.